Hey guys, welcome back to another brand new video. Now, in today's video, it's going to be something different. Okay, clearly, you guys can see my screen right here and me. Okay, you guys don't just see me now, you guys also see the screen because in this video, I want to talk about Bitcoin. Okay, earlier this morning, um, we saw Bitcoin, right? First of all, first of all, look at all the other old coins. Okay, we are all in the green this morning, clearly. Okay, like look at all this. Look at Uniswap, up almost 8%, right? Look at VeChain, 15%. Filecoin, almost 18%. All these other old coins um, are in fact going up. BitTorrent, you know, almost 10%. So look at Harmony One, 7%. Okay, so there's a lot of ups um, this morning, you know what I mean? Most altcoins out there are in fact in the green, um, which is good. Uh, look at this. I think this is the biggest um, move for today. I think so. Yeah, it is. Whatever this coin is, I have never heard of it. But, you know, the whole market is looking pretty good this morning, right? But the main ones I want to talk about is clearly bitcoin so bitcoin right now today is at sixty three thousand dollars um and literally you know a few hours before this when i you know last made my video i told you guys to be prepared about what's going to happen with bitcoin and i had a gut feeling that bitcoin was going to pump and it did a few hours later bitcoin did in fact have a huge pump. I would say this is a, a pretty decent pump, right? You guys can see it right here. Um, I know like this is not that ground, just using whatever coins, but it's just really simple, you know what I mean? Um, to look at, but you guys can see huge pump right here. You know what I mean? Someone out there in this world bought more Bitcoins. Okay, they put a bag into Bitcoin. Okay, um, I think that's why I had this little pump right here. I say little, but this is pretty decent. Almost up, you know, 6%. Oh, okay, we'll just round it up to 5%. Pretty much up 5%, right? So Bitcoin, I am just really, really, really excited about. You know what I mean? Like, I really do believe Bitcoin is going to be at $100,000 sometime in 2022 this year. Okay, like I said again, I don't know. No one knows. That's just my own personal opinion about this, but that's just what I think okay that's going to happen now if we go to let's just say a year this is what it looks like in a year this is the chart for Bitcoin in one year now when I first started getting into it you know investing into like Bitcoin and the whole crypto market and all that right I invested in 2021 and I saw Bitcoin at this price right here $82,000 and I thought to myself wow there's no way I can buy bitcoin right now because back then guys i thought i needed to invest the whole you know eighty thousand dollars to get into bitcoin but i didn't know you could invest just a dollar into bitcoin you know what i mean um you live and you learn you know what i mean um so yeah i saw it at this price oh eighty four thousand dollars right so i think that was this highest peak and then it just dropped all the way back down you guys remember this when there was this big dip and then in may this was when it just plummeted down you know what i mean there was a huge crash everyone was like panicking right um there's a lot of fear in the market at this time and this time right here now right right here around here to around here guys that's when i really invested into bitcoin like i promise you guys this was um a three month time period right right here to here may to um july right um, and I was just really buying Bitcoin heavy, you know what I mean? Um, and then it just went all the way back up to here. $92,000 was its highest peak, as you can see, $92,000. And then after that, this was in November last year. And then we've just been going on a downtrend. And then now it's just been going up and down around here, right? For the past few months now, guys, you know what I mean? Um, January, 
this year to now we've just been kind of you know going up and down but it looks like as you guys can see this pump it looks like we are gonna get out of this little you know there's a little bear market you know what i mean like it finally feels like we're just gonna go all the way up right so if we go to all times man this is what i do on my spare time i always look at this chart from even back 2014 back here you know what i mean this is 2015 16 17 all the way to now i always look at this and i think and i look at the year right 2015 i was in and i think to myself like what was i doing at that time how come i did not buy bitcoin as you guys can see right now at 235 dollars for one bitcoin in 2015 january 15th in 2015 Bitcoin was trading at $235 for one coin, guys. Let me just repeat that. $235 for one Bitcoin in 2015, at the start of 2015. And now Bitcoin is trading at $63,000 for one coin. And I always think to myself, what the hell was I doing in 2015, 2016, and 2017? Okay, so in 2015... I was in school, okay, I was in year 11, and I had no money, when I tell you I had no money, I tell you I had, like, literally no money, you know what I mean, I was, like, broke, right, because I was in school, right? I didn't know much about money or anything like that, right, like, obviously, I had a few dollars and all that, I wasn't, like, dust broke, you know what I mean, but you guys get the gesture here, so if I was, if, let's just say, like, I know we all do this, but guys, like, if I was, you know, if I had a time machine and I went back to 2015 and I saw Bitcoin at, you know, two to $300,000 in 2015 and I was in school, right, and I had the knowledge that I had today, boy, I would force my parents to sell the whole house, like, this house. Obviously, that would be stupid. Like, they wouldn't understand, you know what I mean? Obviously, because I'm from the future, you know what I mean? They don't know the future, but I'm just saying. Like, I would literally sell everything that I had, you know what I mean? Like, because back in the day, I had a lot of iPods, you know what I mean? I would sell all those and just put into Bitcoin, like, things like that, you know what I mean? Or try to make, maybe just try to get a job, you know, work at a shitty job, like at McDonald's at that age, right? I'll be like, what, 17, 18 at that time? I'll probably be like 16. I don't even know, bro. But anyways, yeah, $235, right? Right, and then it was trading at you know three hundred. As you guys can see right there, three hundred nine dollars in June, um, mid twenty fifteen, and then in twenty sixteen it went up a little bit. You know, six hundred. Um, did I ever reach seven hundred? No, I don't think. Oh my lordy! Okay, eight hundred in mid of June. Ah, uh, twenty sixteen. You guys can see right there, eight hundred for one Bitcoin. That is still cheap. Clearly. Look at the price of it today, right? So for the people out there that bought Bitcoin in 2015, 2016, even 2017, I just want to say congrats, okay? Like, I wish that was me right now, you know what I mean? Like, I know we all say this, okay? But it's just like my biggest regret in life as of right now is not buying Bitcoin, not being an early earlier investor into investing in Bitcoin, you know what I mean? Because clearly Bitcoin has completely just skyrocketed. You know what I mean? I had a huge pump. Um, look at this. You know what I mean? 2020, right? Bitcoin was trading at, you know, 10 and then, you know, 11, 14, 15. And then ever since October of 2020, I believe. Yes. It's just been going up to 2021, right? 2021 of January 21st, $46,000. And then from there on, it just went all the way up. Right. Which is crazy. And then this is the time around here was when I bought, um, you know, when I started investing into Bitcoin because I saw it as an opportunity because it was all the way up here. It was literally half price, right? It was all the way up there. And then it just went back down to here. And then I was like, you know what? Bitcoin is trading at, you know, half price. It'll be stupid for me not to you know invest heavy into bitcoin now and i'm glad i did invest um into bitcoin at this time right here 
you know what I mean? This uh, like three month time period. And then it went all the way back up, right? Went all the way back up in November. Um, $92,000 was its highest, I believe. Adio, 92. And then we've just been going a little downtrend, you know what I mean? Little, little downside. And then now it's just not really doing much, you know what I mean? For the past, you know, months, hasn't been doing much, right? But now today, you know what I mean? It's, yeah, there's a pump. And I really do believe that this year, you know, Bitcoin is going to hit $100,000. That's just my personal opinion. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but I have a feeling like it's going to happen. Because we almost hit that last year, you know what I mean, in November. Like, it was at $92,000. That was the highest peak for us, guys, and in Australia, okay? And then after that, it just, yeah, it just went down. And at this time when it was going down, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Since I'm kind of new to, like, you know, this whole cryptocurrency thing, like, being a cryptocurrency investor... It was scary, but I did not panic sell. I, I really don't get how people panic sell. You know what I mean? All you have to do is just be patient. Do this for long term. Don't do this for the short term, but I get it. You know what I mean? You want to get out. You want to get out the, the train. You know what I mean? When it's dipping, you know? So I understand. You're probably like trading with um Bitcoin or Ethereum. You know what I mean? Or crypto in general. But... For me, I'm a hodler, guys, all right? I hold my positions for long term, right? I don't trade. I always just buy and hold. Simple, right? It's really simple. It's less risky. But, yeah, I really do believe it's just going to go back up, right? Right now, the price is 63. And that price was at, um, where was it? September? Yeah. <laughs> Around here, September, September of last year, right? And I believe we're just going to have a big pump because, you know, after this, there was a pump, then a downtrend, and then a huge pump. So I reckon we're just going to see Bitcoin hitting at, you know, 100K right up here, $100,000 right up there this year, sometime this year, you know what I mean? And we're still early this year, you know what I mean? It's only March. So we've got plenty of time, but I really do believe that Bitcoin's going to hit 100k sometime this year, like it has to, you know what I mean? That's just my own personal prediction, right? But we're going to see, you know what I mean? Time will tell, but it's just, I just look at the all-time charts and it's just crazy how Bitcoin was literally trading, you know, $200 to, you know, 300 500 900 that's still cheap, you know what I mean? Comparing it to it now. <sighs> yeah, we'll never get days like this again. You know what I mean? Bitcoin's for sure making history right here. Clearly, like literally Bitcoin was trading at just it was trading lower than this. You know what I mean? It was trading way lower than $200. It was, at one point it was trading at, you know, $5. So, yeah, it's crazy how how Bitcoin came you know what i mean like how far it's came you know what i mean like it's so crazy to me even in 2019 guys look at this seventeen thousand dollars right and not a lot of people back then thought you know bitcoin was it's too late to invest into bitcoin back here you know back in 2018 right you guys can see that um it went up all the way to 24 i believe yeah, 24, as you guys can see. And then it just had a huge downtrend. And then in uh, 2019, the beginning of 2019, you guys can see it's trading at $5,000. $4,000, And a lot of people thought that was it for Bitcoin. You know what I mean? A lot of people just panic sold, I'm guessing, right? Because it was all the way at 24, right? It was, all, it was all the way at 24. And then, you know, when it drop back down here it just a lot of people i'm guessing would panic so but if they just held on if they were hodlers right if they just held on to their bitcoins for another two years or so less than that probably yeah they wouldn't know you know what i mean they would not know look at this like so crazy you know what i mean like this is history right here literally
But guys, congrats to the people that bought Bitcoin in 2015, 16, 17, and 18, even even 19 and 2020. You know what I mean? Like huge congrats. But huge congrats for the people actually bought it around here. 17, 16, and 15. Okay, big congrats to them because, you know, if you guys are still holding your Bitcoins, if you bought it around here, then yeah, you'll be laughing right now. You know what I mean? Like literally you will be laughing. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys haven't yet already. And I'll catch you guys in my next video.